Okay, so let's get ready to deploy a MySQL LinoDB cluster. For this tutorial, we will deploy a 3 instances cluster, which is the minimum number of instances to achieve high availability and withstand the failure of one instance. So I have prepared 3 Linux machines running Ubuntu with the latest MySQL Server J version installed, which is 811. To install a MySQL Server, I have simply followed the documented standard procedures for my platform. The installation is very easy, and the steps are fully described on the official documentation. You can access it through the Documentation tab, then selecting the MySQL Server tab, and going to the Installing and Upgrading MySQL section. This chapter covers the installation procedures for several platforms, Microsoft Windows, macOS, Linux, and so on. Since I'm using Linux, I have selected Installing MySQL on Linux. Okay, so having the three MySQL Server instances installed, we can start deploying our InnoDB cluster. On my local machine, I also have downloaded and installed the latest GA versions of the MySQL shell and the MySQL router, so I'm ready to start the tutorial. The first step is to start the MySQL shell. Okay. Before creating a cluster, we must pick which one of the instances will be the seed instance. The seed instance is the one that will hold the initial state of the database, which will then be replicated to the other instances as they are added to the cluster. I will now connect to the instance on which I'd like to start the cluster, that is running on the host named IC1, so I'll use the slash c command. I'll type the password, and I can verify that I am indeed connected to the right instance. I see one running MySQL Community Server 8011. Okay, so now we want to set up the cluster. But in case we don't know exactly what to do, we can call the shell helper by doing the following. The shell helper lists the available global commands and the available global objects. The admin API, which allows us to administer InnoDB clusters, is initialized within the DBA object. So let's gather more information about it. The helper for the DBA object also lists us the available commands for the admin API. Check instance configuration, configuring instance, and so on. The one we're interested in for now is the create cluster. So let's move on and create our cluster. Ok, so we can see that the create cluster command terminated with an error, and it's indicating that the instance check failed. So looking at the output, we can see that there's an indication that some configuration options need to be fixed, and there's a list indicating which are the configuration options that need to be fixed, and also a note indicating to use the configure instance command to repair these issues. So what happens is that by default, a freshly installed MySQL server is not ready for InnoDB cluster usage, as there are several configurations and settings that need to be in place. But having that in mind, the admin API provides a command to automatically and remotely configure instance for InnoDB cluster. And that is the DBA, configure instance command. So let's proceed and use it to get our instance ready for InnoDB cluster usage. Note that since I have an established session to the, to, to the target instance, the command does not require any parameter. If you'd like to, to change the target instance, you can either change the, command, the global shell session or pass the connection data as parameter to the command. So let's move on and execute. Okay, so as you can see, the same table is printed with the configuration options that need to be fixed the current values and the required values of each one. And there's a prompt asking us if we want to perform the required configuration changes. Let's answer yes. And a new prompt is asking us if we want to restart the instance after configuring it. And this happens because some of the variables, these three, require a restart of the server. So let's answer yes. And the command has terminated. MySQL instance running on IC1 was configured for cluster usage and was also restarted. Everything is fine. So now 
um, the first instance is now ready for Inodb cluster usage. But as you probably guessed, the other two are not are not ready since they're also fresh install uh, installations of the MySQL server. So we also need to run the DBA configure instance on them. But if but I'd like just to highlight that in case you're not sure and you'd like to check whether an instance is ready or not for cluster usage, the shell also has a command for that purpose, which is the DBA dot check instance configuration. So let me show you how it does look like. I'm going to use the target instance IC2. Prompt type the password. And you can see the same exact information of the wrong variables is printed. Also not put in JSON format and an indication to use configure instance to repair these issues. So let's use it and let's get the other two instances ready for cluster usage. First, IC2. And then IC3. Note that this command can be run, yeah, can be executed completely remotely, and there's no need to log into the instance and execute it locally. And that's it. We have our three instances ready for cluster usage, and we can now create a MySQL in Olivi cluster. Thank you.